I'm Katie Bowman, a biomechanist and movement teacher, and I created this program to guide you step by step, part by part, toward movement habits that will help you feel better. Before we get started, here's some information. If you can't do an exercise, you one, bolster it, two, break it down, or three, you let it go. Tension in the legs. So you can Let's use talk about bolster. as many pillows as you need. And you're looking for the point, the one coming up, where once you're sitting, you can let your pelvis tip forward a little bit. So go ahead and round your back one. again. So the first of six sessions of this course will focus on the mobility of your many joints. Each of these mobility sessions are made up of gentle, low impact exercises that will get more of your body parts moving. Each exercise and as you get more comfortable, you can go lower and you'll get even more of a stretch in your hamstrings as you move your hips. This is a great break to take. If you sit all day at work, just to stand up quickly, turn around and just mobilize your hips for just 30 to 60 seconds. It's like you're doing a slow squat, sitting your way back and then let the whole torso like a two by four come forward until you can grab your item and then you go ahead and pull it back over your shoulder. And you're gonna but practice slowly raising the bag without decreasing this distance. So we never wanna to get to the point where we're pulling the shoulder up towards our ears. And you wanna see how high you can go. Stop. Okay, how many steps did you just take? You're gonna write that down again and see how your rates compare. They're probably pretty close. This session is all about fitting movement into where you are already spending your time, in your home often, or at work. It's really just so holding your lower body with your upper body, right? Because your core is what's in between there. So you can just hang out here for a second, swing your legs from side to side. You can also stretch your fingers. You don't have to do one move at a time. So if you've got a couple other favorites, feel free to put them in here. Do another hunk of those reverse floor angels. Remember to keep your head and neck relaxed. There's no reason to lift your head up off the floor or push your chin forward. You're really just working the shoulders. So we're gonna adjust the, the rib cage so that it drops down in front, stacking directly over the bowl of the pelvis. Katie so Bowman, go ahead and lift it up again. This week we are using movement to help us relax. How do we do that? In many ways, it turns out. But what you do wanna have is space underneath your rib cage so that it can drop down. And then you just hang out in the space. You relax and you might find it. 